What's up gamers, Laz here, and today we're going to fly through the Insight Terminus Grandmaster so you can farm out that god roll hung jury you've been waiting for. Insight Terminus might be one of the easier GMs this entire season, and I think many different team comps will work without any issues, so I'm going to just say that pretty much use whatever you want. As always, if you're on PC and looking for a fire team to help complete the GMs, swing by my Twitch stream at twitch.tv slash LazarusC13 and we'll get you that clear. Link is also in the description below. My group ran as Stasis Warlock with the Bleak Watcher Nade and Eye of Another World. You can swap out Eye of Another World for Aeons if you want, but we didn't have any ammo issues, so we didn't even try this. We also had a Chaos Reach Warlock running Geomags and a Banner Shield Titan rocking Ursas. For weapons, you can run multiple different combinations in this GM. Personally, I ran a Nightwatch Scout Rifle, a Truth Teller with Blinding Grenades, and Anarchy. Both of my teammates ran Anarchy as well. They both also used an Ignition Code with Blinding Nades. One of them ran a Vouchsafe with Explosive Payload, and the other ran an Eternal Blazon with Disruption Break. For mods, we all had on the usual suspects. Protective Light to help keep us alive in a pinch taking charge to get us charged with light. I ran Warmind's Decree so my Truth Teller could potentially make Warmind cells. You could also throw on Special Finisher if you're having any issues with ammo. Breach and Clear! This mod literally makes this entire GM free. Just use it, you'll thank me later. Again, there are many different options here, but I would say the big three are Protective Light, Taking Charge, and Breach and Clear. The run is very straightforward. Sparrow through the beginning until you get to the first room of adds. Take the barrier head on, blind the other adds, and move up to take out the second barrier. Blind and clear out the remaining adds, then sauce the barrier in the back of the room before you move forward. Have your stasis lock throw his stasis buddy across the arena to control some of the snipers on the other side while you clear out the legionaries that are right in front of you. If you can, take out the barrier chant from a distance. Utilize your range and blinding nades, clear out the rest of the room, and move forward towards the playroom. The trick here is to freeze and blind the first wave of adds, but do not kill them. Have one person stay in the back of the room while the other two cap the plate. The reason is sometimes these enemies will teleport behind you, so this is just an insurance position. If you don't kill the first wave of adds here, then a second wave with two unstoppable champs will not spawn. Don't worry, you will still get platinum without spawning the unstoppables. Once the plate is capped, go to the portal. Stay to the left side of the crawl area to avoid the Vex Milk. Have your Warlock throw a Stasis Buddy into the middle of the room, then start clearing the adds. Keep in mind you're going to also have to shoot Kargan to spawn the rest of the adds, so do that ASAP, then just chill in this area. This spot will now be called your home. Rotate supers, use blinding GLs, and keep throwing that Stasis Buddy out there. Once the adds are done spawning, move towards the back of the room, take out the champ and the adds, then get ready to dunk the first ball. I recommend placing Anarchy around the two portals closest to you, and then return to your home. Once everyone is ready, dunk the ball, then haul ass back to your home with your teammates. Rinse and repeat what you did on the previous waves of adds, clear the room, then pick up the ball. But do not dunk it. Picking it up will spawn another champ. Sauce this guy, then move to the back of the room and take out the two barriers. Clear the remaining adds, and dunk the second ball. Kill the Vex here and finish any enemies if you're low on ammo. Then make your way through the caves until you get to the boss arena. While capping the first plate, place Anarchy Traps around the portals. Throw a Stasis Buddy out into the middle of the room and blind the enemies as they start to push you. Once Kargan comes down, hit him with everything you got. After enough damage has been done, Kargan will become shielded again. Place another Stasis Buddy in the middle of the room, blind the enemies around the room, and place Anarchy anywhere you can to thin out the adds. Use your supers to control the adds and aid you in capturing the plates. Once all three plates are capped, you can start unloading on Kargan again. After what feels like no time at all, Kargan will eventually die, and Insight Terminus is done and dusted. Again, I stream GM Helps every weekend at twitch.tv slash LazarusC13. Link is down in the description. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, leave a dislike if you didn't enjoy the video, drop a comment down below and let me know what roles you got on your hung jury, insert typical YouTuber sub to me comment here, and Laz, out. Yeah.